Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday. Did this eye with this new palette. I also used the Huda Beauty bronzer and a new Pat McGrath blush and a new lipstick. So I'll be right back. I have not been using a primer, but I was watching Babs Beauty the other day <clears throat> and she used this primer and it just looked like it did such a good job on her pores. The main place I have that to worry about, I'm just gonna use that much, is like right here. And if you see that spot, I think my Obagi and Retin-A and everything else has been kind of working on a little spot right there because like all of a sudden that started peeling. I thought today I would use BK Beauty brushes. I have them separate here and <clears throat> I love her brushes. I just, I get in a rut of using the same ones, so I thought it might be nice to switch that up. I am going to bug you about this until you try it. This is the Valentino, very Valentino. It's got SPF 26, light lasting, perfecting foundation. It's long lasting, it's, it's the best. I mean, I just, it's a little above double wear. It's just the best. And today I'm gonna to use MN4. Last time I showed this to you, I used MA4. This is the neutral. I thought about trying to use a brush, but really it's just hard to beat this particular sponge and this makeup. And I do go over my eyes. Okay, that primer did help on my nose because normally I have to like really, really work it in there. So that did help. And I've already put like some body bronzer on my neck so I don't need to like go all the way down there. Two pumps, one on each side, does my whole face. Okay, I thought today I will try to use some new products. I actually just got a package in from Sephora and I'm gonna use a few of those things. I hated to use all of it because then I won't have anything to show you on Friday. So today I thought I would try the Huda Concealer and I got two colors. See, Coconut Flakes, which is 2.7 in, and Sugar Biscuit, which is 3.5 in. Okay, so you can see Sugar Biscuit is the one that just about matches my skin perfectly, and then the Coconut Flakes is the other one. I think Coconut Flakes is the one that works the best. So let's give it a try here. It does have like a big doe foot. And one thing I noticed when I told you guys I liked something else better. What did I say? Oh, the MAC better. I noticed that this did say it was buildable. So if I think I need to build a little bit more, I will. I'm going to let that set there for like 10 seconds. And I'm going to take the Angie Hot and Flashy A506. Let's see how it does with the brush. Because I usually use that damp sponge and I'm sure that removes a lot of it. So I'm gonna try to keep it right where I want the, either the highlight or the coverage. I'm gonna just kinda of run this Hmm. Feeling like I miss my sponge because yeah, I usually spread it out so far. I think with the brush, maybe a bigger brush, but I usually kind of, I don't want it to be so directed. Maybe if I was doing a darker color, but I want it to be kind of yeah, like that. The other day, I was thinking, why am I not using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder? Because I know I like that. That and the Laura Mercier are just like right up there as far as coverage and just making everything look flawless. And so I got it out this morning. This is why. I don't like that little sifter thing. I think that's what keeps me from using this all the time because then it's just not as easy, but we're gonna use it today anyway. I learned you can't put a damp sponge on that because it will make it um, get kind of clogged up. So I'm just gonna do the best I can here. And 
this is more scented too than the Laura Mercier, but it's so good. I mean, I admit it's just so good. You may not need to do this, but I like the way it looks and I like the way it makes my makeup last throughout the day. Okay, and then for powder, just to set the rest of my face, I really don't need it. The Valentino is somewhat like, it's not quite as dry as the Estee Lauder, but it's not one that you have to set. But I usually do, just because I feel like it makes other things go on smoother. I thought I would use one of these. This is the Tarte Pressed Foundation Powder in 32N Medium Neutral. And then this is the 35N Medium Neutral Loose. Let's do loose just for the heck of it. Let's try this one. This is the 104. I'm gonna take some of this off of this puff and Boy, that's pretty, isn't it? I'm just, I'm just getting it off the puff, not even out of the sifter. That is really pretty. If you were wanting to try a new mineral foundation, I would suggest this one. Look at that glow it gives on your forehead. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the sifter part a little bit and maybe work it in the lid. Yeah, that's probably the thing to do Wow, that is really pretty. Okay, as with everything, with every mineral powder I've ever tried, you get more coverage with the loose than you do the pressed. Okay, let's do lips because I have a new lip product that one of my friends on Instagram suggested. So I'm gonna use my Paradise Lip Liner. I'm doing it lightly just in case. I haven't put these together yet. I'm not really pressing down. Here, I'm gonna go a little bit. More up here. Yikes, <laughs> that could have been a mistake. And then it's this lipstick that she told me about. She said it was very similar to the YSL one that we like so much. It is the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Trance Lipstick in the color Lady Stardust. They were out of it on Sephora, so I ordered it from her website, and when I did, I ordered some new blushes that are gorgeous, so we're gonna use those too. This is beautiful. Not only is it a gorgeous pink, but look how it has like that sheen to it. Not sparkly or shimmery at all, just has like a nice glow. I love that, and I was thinking I might need a gloss I don't think you have to, but you know, these are so awesome. I went and looked at all the colors I have, and this is the Guava. It has like a glossy, pretty finish to it. I was wondering what this maybe would look like over it. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. This is just good to have to put over in it. Gosh, it smells so good. It smells like Hawaiian Tropic or Banana Boat, one of those. I think Hawaiian Tropic, that's what it smells like. And I thought I would use the Huda Beauty Bronzer that I was telling you about. This is the Medium Level 5. It is a rosier, cool tone bronzer. At first, like I said, I thought it was gonna be way too red, but it ended up being really pretty. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy A507 Slanted Brush. So let's get a little bit on my brush and we'll work it in here and then I'm gonna Isn't that beautiful? Here, let me do one side of my face so you can see. The difference. That is so pretty. Okay, I'll work it in the top.
So pretty. I love it. I love this bronzer. So glad I didn't give up on it. I think the first time I was using too big of a brush and it really wasn't that impressive. But then when I got to use a smaller brush, and then I always just do the end of my nose. And now I'm gonna do, I always kind of do that and then kind of evaluate how much further I want to come in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little further up. Hey, Sassy. Oh, I love it. This is really nice. I'm impressed. Okay, originally I was gonna use this blush because I've been using this a lot lately and it is a gorgeous everyday pink blush. It is the Benefit Willa. And it's just this, you know, nudie, rosy blush. But I just got these combos. Her packaging is just gorgeous. This is Pat McGrath. And these are new. It's the Divine Blush Duo. So this one is Cosmic Coral just gorgeous. And then this one is Paradise Glow. So I'm assuming you can mix these. You can use them separately. Which one do I want to use today? Let's go ahead and use the brighter one for the heck of it so you can see how it looks. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller brush here just because I'm a little scared. 108 brush. Okay, do I want to mix it up or do I want to just... Let's... Okay, let's just go into this side at first. Okay, now let's go into just the pink. Oh gosh, okay. Be careful. And go up a little higher. Mm. Okay, so let's do that again on this side. I think the pink's already in my already in my brush here. Try to get some more of that. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Let me get a little bit more of the pink on this over here. These blushes are so glowy. Even her other ones that aren't like a combo. I have really, really enjoyed these. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Yes, I love that. Let me get my bronzer brush. And kind of... I didn't put any more on there, but I just kind of wanted to go all over it and just kind of blend it all together. Let's do brows. I have been loving, I, I mean, I love this so much. I use it every day, is the Refi Light Brow System. I do like the Too Faced, you know, just the gel part that they have, but I really like the color of this too. So it has this brush on the end and then it has like the pomade stuff inside. So I usually dip it in there. If I'm in a hurry, I just, We'll kind of get some off of the sides and then first thing I do is usually go across the top here where they don't show or they're brushed down and then I come in when there's less on my brush and kind of go in like that you can see the color is just like mine but just fills in those really blonde ones and the top. This is the part that really makes a difference. So I go through with the brow, like, I don't know, is it called a gel? I guess it is. It's kind of like a gel and a pomade mixed brush through them you take the brush and I usually I try to keep this brush really clean and this is where it really puts them separates them and puts them down so you have to like this look like I said if I would get mine trimmed. I wouldn't have to worry about it, but I always have to kind of brush mine back like that. And they will be this way until I take it off tonight. It is amazing. Love this product. Oh, 
right, just like usual, my palette came broken. I don't know if I have an extra rough UPS center, but I would say in half of my packages, something ends up being broken. But Sephora was just like on it. I emailed them a picture and I explained to them that I didn't have a real Sephora here because they won't take returns at like a Sephora in a JCPenney's or a Kohl's. And they emailed me right back on a Saturday, told me not to worry about sending this back and they were sending out a new one. So that was pretty impressive. So you can see the colors are just gorgeous, but I had three of them that these two on the end over here by the lilac are were really just crushed. And I really tried to press those back in there, just enough for me to use today. And then I will have my new one, but look how pretty they are. They're just so pretty. And everything, even the actual case that they come in is like this little tweed and it's that pretty color. I want to kind of focus on the purple color because I love this color and I've always loved it with really bronzy skin in the summertime. The first one I want to take is something like this, which is the 202. And typically I would put maybe a bronzer in the crease, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I have used my foundation, I think that's enough. And I really want this wisteria is the color to show. Okay, there is a lot of kick up, but that is par for the course for Anastasia palettes. So I'm gonna try to Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do that on the other eye and then we might change brushes and techniques here. Really, you could just do this color. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. Something told me when I saw this palette come out that I was really gonna like this. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend it all out here. And I'm gonna take the smaller brush. I love this one, 207. Dip back into Wisteria, kind of work it in my brush, and I'm gonna go on my lower also. I wanna kind of stamp some on. Okay, let's take like a shader brush like this, the 203, and I'm gonna get this on my brush, kind of work it in on the mirror, and I want to kind of, yeah, that going. Okay, do we need anything else? I want to use another color. The floor, of course, is going to be your, your main like this little area. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with this, but I don't want to take away from the purple. Let's take that small brush I used for the lower lash line. I'm gonna put a, dip it in that floor and let's just see. I'd like it for it to not even be noticeable. Yeah, I think that's doing it. So you can kind of come around the edges. And what that does is it keeps your eyeshadow from looking like it just keeps going. It kind of grounds it and gives it, you don't notice this color, but I think it helps the purple. It's kind of like a frame, I guess. You have to do that with like blue too. Wow, I love that so much. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off this brush. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go in this lightest color, Paloma. And just see what it does. Okay, it's not shimmery. It's just a, a light color. And 
Okay, let's, I don't wanna, let's just do Paloma up here a little bit too. And now let me go get a clean brush. This is the Angie A502. I'm gonna go back in that floor and I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose that up at the top. Okay, what do we think? I love it. I love it. I think this palette is so pretty. I'd already made my mind I was going to do brown winged liner. So this is the roller liner and I love brown and purple together. Brown and I like brown and blue too. When I was little, I had a blue dress. It was a sundress and it had brown flowers on it like brown and tan. It was kind of, it was a floral print, kind of like a Hawaiian print. I mean, this was by like elementary school. I loved that dress. Okay, doesn't, doesn't it look good with the purple? Took that wing out a little too far, so I just put a little bit of Bioderma. Hey Chanel, she came up to get a snack. Even though they do not go outside, we still have to put the flea. Like, um, I think we use the Advantage. We used to use Frontline, but the Advantage seems to work better. And we did that last night. We usually do it every three weeks or a month. And we did that last night and they were all so mad. You have to be the mom though. Okay, so that is the liner. And then because I'm going to use false lashes, I take a black and I give the lashes, you know, something to sit on so they won't stick out on the brown liner. And I love this liner. This one is the... I mean, I will search all my drawers until I find this. It's the uh, Lancome Edole Waterproof Liner. I just really like this applicator. And so what I'm gonna do is go down by the lashes the whole way across. Even if you don't use false lashes, just doing this will make your lashes look thicker. And then I'm going to Just do like a little baby wing here for those lashes to sit on. Okay, and I've already got some lashes cut. I can wear these things for like a week or more because, because I use the Duo Dark and it's just the, what is it called? It's not silicone, but it's kind of like that. I can just peel it right off. So I'm going to put, glue on my lashes and then we'll do mascara and I'll put the lashes on. Okay, so they are drying and I thought I would use the City Beauty Beyond Mascara Volumizing and Treatment. I know the one the other day that I told you I didn't like that much from Lancome, it's a treatment too. That's very popular these days. But this is a treatment one that actually gives you thickness and really goes on there. So I wanted to show you. The brush is just a little big for me just because I have small eyes and that are deep set, but it, the formula is really good. Okay, while they're drying a little bit more, I went and looked to see if I had a purple eye pencil, and I don't. I can't believe it, but I do have this Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Endless Blue. Going. That, that helps a little bit. Okay, you gotta rub it in the lashes a little bit to get it going. Yeah, I think that just adds a little bit of something on the lower lash line. Like that, and see how that covers the black. 
Okay, this one over here is giving me a little bit of trouble. I think I tried to move it too many times. But, oh, lashes. Lashes are just the best. Anything else that we need? I have not been doing a lot of Fix Plus or anything, but I do think it would look better. See, when I do videos, I need to think that you're not gonna see me in an hour. Typically, I would not spray because I know that my natural oils are gonna come through, but the all-nighter is a good one. And then that will give you more of that glowy look. And I think that you will love that. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is my purple look. What do you think? I love it, love it. It'll be interesting. I will put down below what John says. If he notices my makeup at all, he's downstairs. He's gonna cook breakfast. And these sunglasses are my faves and they're cheap as they can be. I've got backups, I love them. So if you don't have these, you have to try them. And I've got on a new dress. My friend Ariel posted a dress that was in a nude color. I ordered this one and then I went to the store. I had not been to Old Navy in years and they didn't have my size in the dress, but I did order this one. I love it, I love the color. I just have on a pink Honey Love bra underneath it and skims. And then this is the bag that I showed you in my video. Friday and I did order the natural one right when I was editing I went and looked and the natural was available But I have really really enjoyed that it is just a matter of fact I was walking up to world market yesterday and two girls gave me a compliment on it are my Gucci flip-flops in the white And this is my look for the day and fragrance. I haven't done a fragrance. Let's pick out one real quick. Hold on. This is one that is very different. It's very niche. And when I say niche, I realize the only difference between the word niche means they only do fragrance. Whereas a designer fragrance like Calvin Klein or Prada or something, they do other things. But when a company just does one thing, it is different. They Usually a niche perfume is just a little bit more unique. Not always, but when I say that and I refer to a niche perfume smelling different, that's what I mean. This is by Francesca Bianchi and it's Sex and the Sea. I saw a couple of reviews on this and what got me is it's not the typical beach scent. It is a kind of a dirty scent, meaning it has like some notes in it that are not light and beautiful. It's more of that earthy type fragrance. And I keep it in my office because I smell it all the time, but I've never, I've put it on one time, Brooke and I did, but I've never really worn it. So I'm going to wear it today and um, see what I think. It has a really weird smell that is so good. It's like this smell that I have smelled before. It really does smell like the beach because the beach, like I said before, the beach is such an earthy. It does have a little bit of coconut in it, but not the typical suntan lotion coconut. It's kind of more like that jasmine-y smell. It's just interesting. So I'm going to wear this today and see how I feel about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.